Hi everyone, a lot of people that I speak to have this feeling that AI and automation is their biggest enemy and AI and automation is going to take away their job or is taking away a lot of jobs. While this is true, but it is not entirely true. So it is not you versus the AI or you versus the automation. And yes, AI and automation is one part of the scheme of things, but there are other factors responsible for the layoffs and the fact that number of job openings are reducing. So I run this community program where more than 220 people who are part of it across the globe and they come and share their opinions. Some of them last week when we met said that in their organization, AI or automation is not at all being used. While there are other people who said, yes, there is a pressure on us to use more and more of AI co-pilots and stuff like that. In fact, in some companies, they are given targets that 20% of the code should be generated by AI. So different companies, different approaches. So the million dollar question is, what should you do? In my view, there are three things that you should focus on. While all of this will keep happening, these three things are fundamental. Number one thing is, you need to strengthen your human-only skills. See, there are certain things which an AI tool or automation can do, but there are certain things which AI or automation cannot do. For example, communication, for example, storytelling. AI can generate a lot of code, AI can generate a lot of words, it can write articles, but AI tool cannot do the storytelling in front of the stakeholders. You have to do that. AI cannot explain the context. AI cannot understand the customer emotions or customer context. You can do it. So as a human, we need to understand what is that human only skill which I bring on the table. So communication skills, storytelling is the main thing. Followed by your ability to solve complex problems where there is a lot of ambiguity. See, AI can solve simple problems, repeatable problems, or an automation can execute rule-based tasks. But where there are multiple paths, where there is complexity, we still need humans and will continue to need humans. So your problem-solving skill and your analytical skill is the foundational thing which you should work on. Next important human only aspect is empathy. Your ability to understand the human emotion involved in the business, the sense of urgency or the criticality. So when you have conversations with your boss or with your client, you should be able to empathize with them better. And in all those transactions, they should start to see your value. So trust builds with each transaction. So please make sure that your networking skills or your ability to empathize and your ability to win the customer or win the key stakeholders is something which you should use very strongly. So networking and relationship is like the durable shield. We all know that when layoffs happen, a lot of people actually are saved by their bosses. A lot of people are actually saved by their clients because somebody said, sitting at the top or somebody sitting in the client organization says you cannot touch this person why do they say that because that person has built trust over a period of time that person has shown empathy relationship building skills and has eventually built trust so please work on strengthening these human only skills all right point number two is it is very easy to replace just a project manager or just a data analyst and i'm just giving some examples single skill person are easy to replace because you can replace a senior project manager with a junior project manager or a senior data analyst with a junior data analyst. So you need to work on combining your domain skills with your IT or tech skills. So just being tech or just being domain oriented is not going to help. A combo of tech and domain is going to be really helpful because a person with hybrid skills is difficult to replace than just a person with single skill. So if you have a deep domain expertise, learn AI tools. Or if you are a tech person, then work on developing deep domain expertise. And lastly, the third point, please don't shy away from showcasing what you have done. A lot of good people, technical people or domain experts don't believe in showcasing their work. I don't know what is wrong with them. They think, oh, why should I showcase my work? My boss will talk about it or my client will talk about it. Why should I talk about my own work? See, as a principle, I understand where you're coming from, but in today's world, it is absolutely important to speak for yourself. 
सो माय पॉइंट इज प्लीज बिल्ड अ विजुअल और विजिबल प्रूफ ऑफ वर्क इट कैन बी ऑन सोशल मीडिया इट कैन बी योर पोर्टफोलियो इट कैन बी योर वेबसाइट बट प्लीज वर्क ऑन बिल्डिंग केस स्टडीज प्लीज वर्क ऑन बिल्डिंग टेस्टिमोनियल्स एंड कलेक्ट फीडबैक फ्रॉम ऑल योर कस्टमर्स एंड प्रीवियस बॉसेस बिल्ड अ पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ योर वर्क एंड शो केस इट इन द राइट फोरम्स प्लीज स्टॉप थिंकिंग दैट समबडी एल्स इज गोइंग टू डू द शो केसिंग फॉर यू और समबडी एल्स हैज द जॉब ऑफ आइडेंटिफाइंग वॉट गुड वर्क यू हैव डन वाइल इट इज ओके टू थिंक लाइक दैट बट इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड जो दिखता है वही बिकता है विच मीन्स इफ यू डोंट शो केस यू विल नॉट गेट एनी अटेंशन All right these are some of my thoughts in this ever changing world where we feel that we are working against AI before i log off i just want to tell you it is make AI as your friend in your industry check what are the best tools what are the latest tools and learn those tools don't run away from the tools actually become friends with them that is how you will stay ahead of your competition i hope this video was useful let me know what you think about it in comments If you are new to the channel please subscribe and if you like the video do hit the like button and also the hype button and don't forget to share it in your whatsapp groups i will see you another video soon take care and bye for now